皆さん、こんにちは。Japanese with Cello へようこそ。Hello, everybody. Welcome to learning、uh, Japanese with Marcelo. So, this lesson is the series of、um, basic、uh, Japanese, Japanese for beginners. All right. So, this is our third lesson. And on this lesson,、uh, we will be learning the lesson points. Okay. Very four important. Uh, lesson gra grammar point lesson points okay and this lesson is dividing into three parts so the first part we will be focusing on vocabulary all right and then we will move to the second part which is the grammar this points right here right and then the last part of the lesson we will learn、uh, how to practice those points in a conversation all right so let's get into it vocabulary Part one of the lesson. All right, so the first vocabulary today is Gakko, 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 Kyo Shitsu, Kyo Shitsu, Kyo Shitsu, Shokudo, Shokudo, Shokudo. 食堂事務所事務所事務所オフィスオフィスオフィス So オフィス and 事務所 is the same as you can notice オフィス comes from the English word office, right? So that's why also it's written in katakana. Okay, any words that comes from、um, Um, other languages that are not Japanese, we will write them in katakana, including our names. If you are a foreigner and you don't have a Japanese name, your name will be written in katakana. Okay? Kaigi. 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 Kaigi shitsu. Kaigi shitsu. Kaigi shitsu. So, shitsu is the character for room. So, You know, room plus meeting, it's a meeting room. Kaigi shitsu. Uketsuke, uketsuke, uketsuke. Robi, robi, robi. Which also comes from the, the word, the Western word lobby, right? Heya, heya, heya. トイレトイレトイレ Okay, by the way, there is a word called、uh, that, benjo. Okay, we don't use that for トイレ I've seen some people learning it, and、uh, it's a very rude,、uh, old Japanese word for to to restroom. So please don't use benjo. Okay, we use the the I mean, if you think about it, it's the original Japanese word, right? Because it's in kanji. Toide comes from the Western、um, uh, vocabulary、uh, words, but again, we use toide, not benjo. Good. O te arai. O te arai. All right. So in English, both are like restrooms, but the idea is that o te arai uh, it's, um, is more like to wash your hands, right? So te means. Hence, arai is the verb arau, which is to wash, right? So, a place to wash your hands, ote arai, which is the equivalent for a toilet.、Um, next one is kaidan. 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 Erebeta. 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 エスカレーター、エスカレエタア、エスカレーター。So you need to, you know, do the, the long A and A, right? エスカレーター。Next one is 自動販売機。自動販売機。自動販売機。So, Jido Hanbai King are vending machines.、Uh, I could make a video alone about Jido Hanbai. It's one of the things that I miss the most about living in Japan. It's great, all right? 
Anyway, uh, the shorter version of Jidou Hanbai Ki is Ji Hang Ki. So as you notice, we just got some of the kanjis, the characters. So Ji Hang Ki. Ji Hang Ki. I forgot to mention, Jido means automatic, Hanbai means selling, vending, and Ki is machine. So, right, is a machine that vends, like, sells automatically. And these are the meaning of each of them, right? So G is automatic, hum is uh, the, the, the selling vending part, and key is machine. Ji hum key. Okay? Next one. Dem wa. Dem wa. Dem wa. And the next one is kei tai den wa. So we're talking about the cell phone, right? Kei tai den wa. So den wa is phone. Kei tai means portable, actually. Okay, so we also have a version that's K Tai, which is only you know a shorter version, which also means cell phone. But also we have uh, Sumaho, which is the abbreviation of smartphone, right? Sumato home, so Sumaho. Okay. Next one, Kuni countries, Kaisha companies. We saw this last lessons, right? Ie, ie, right? Ie, <laughs> not ie. So ie, ie is house. Kutsu, kutsu. Uriba, uriba, uriba. Wine, wa i m, wine. Biru. Biru, 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 biru. So I put this together so you guys know the difference. So biru is beer, right? Drinking beer. And biru is a shorter word for building, right? Actually comes from the word building, right? So biru, okay? Next one. Chika, chika, chika. So the characters here are very easy to understand because the first character chi means soil and ka means under, so under the soil, chika, underground, all right? Now let's learn some numbers. Last lesson I believe we did uh, learn from 1 until 100, right? So now we're going to go a little bit higher than that. So 100 is hyaku, 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 200. Ni hyaku. So again, you just put the ni in front of the hyaku, right? In front of the hundred. So ni hyaku. Ni hyaku. Ni hyaku. Now, three hundred, you would assume sang hyaku, right? Because we're just adding the sun in front of it. However, hyaku, you would add the ten ten on top of it. So he becomes b. So it's biaku. Sang biaku. Sambyaku, okay, so this is a irregular one that you guys need to memorize. Sambyaku. Yong is no alteration, so yonghyaku. Yonghyaku. Go five is no alteration. Go hyaku. Go hyaku. Six, we have an alteration. So should be roku hyaku. But roku hyaku is difficult to say, so therefore ro pyaku. Ro pyaku. Right? So we have this small Tsu in hiragana, which means double P. You, you take a little pause, right? Ro, piaku. So instead of the ku, roku, you just have a little pause. Ro, piaku. Ro, piaku. All right? And then uh, 700 is the same. Nanahyaku. Nanahyaku. And then 800, it's different again because hachi, hyaku. So hachi, hyaku is difficult to say. So therefore, ha, piaku. Ha, piaku. So it's interesting because 300, it was a 1010, it changed for Byaku. And now uh, 800 is this little circle which changed for Pyaku, okay? So Ha Pyaku, Ha Pyaku. And 900 is Kyu Hyaku, Kyu Hyaku. And then 1000 is Sen, Sen, Sen. All right, now Sen uh, is 1000, and 2000 is Nisen. Nisen. 
3000, now the sen becomes zen, okay? So, sun zen is irregular. Sun zen, sun zen. Uh, yong thousand is regular. Yong sen, yong sen. Five thousand, go sen, go sen. Six thousand, roku sen, roku sen. Seven thousand, nana sen, nana sen. Eight thousand is irregular. Ha sen, ha sen, ha sen. 9,000, Q sen, Q sen. And finally, 10,000 is Ichi Meng, Ichi Meng. So Ichi means one, Meng means four digits, right? So 10,000 is one plus four digits. Is the way the Japanese we learn in school, all right? All right, next is uh, the character for floor. Okay, so basically this character will be coming after a number and depending on the number it will be read pronounced as Kai or Gai if it is an irregular. Okay, so let's have a look at all of the floors of the 10th floor. So uh, the first one, the first floor would be Ikai, Ikai, irregular, Nikai, Nikai, regular, Sungai, Sungai, Irregular, Yonkai, Yonkai, regular, Gokai, regular, Gokai, Rokkai, Rokkai, irregular, Nanakai, Nanakai, regular, Hakkai, Hakkai, irregular, Kyukai, Kyukai, regular, Jukkai, Jukkai, irregular. All right, and the question Nangai is for which floor? Nangai. Nangai this cup is irregular, so it's the G guy. Alright. Next vocabulary is Irashai Mase. Alright. Irashai Mase. Irashai Mase. So this is a um, expression in Japanese that people will tell you as you walk in your uh, store. Okay, it's a business expression. Um, and then when you want somebody to repeat what they said, you can say Moichido onegai shimas, Moichido onegai shimas, Moichido onegai shimas. Ja, ja. This means in that case, ja, in that case. And this one is something o kudasai. O kudasai. So you're going to put the word, right, of the object or whatever it is, and you say o kudasai. So please give me or I will take when you are shopping. Okay? And the next one is domo. Domo. Right? Which means thanks. It's a more casual version of domo arigato gozaimasu. All right? Ikura. Ikura. Ikura means how much. Ikura desu ka? How much is it? All right, so now because we're going to also practice like shopping and the ikura desu ka, knowing the price, uh, so we can use the numbers, okay? So in Japan, because of the money currency, um, we have uh, very high numbers, right? Uh, and that's why we're going to do uh, 1,000, 10,000, right? Which usually we, we, we wouldn't use as often with dollars, uh, for instance. But anyway, a hundred is hyaku, right? Nihyaku, sambyaku, yonhyaku, gohyaku, ropyaku, nanahyaku, hapyaku, kyuhyaku, and sen, as we already learned, right? A thousand sen, nisen, sanzen, yonsen, gosen, roksen, nanasen, hasen, kyusen, ichiman, as we already learned. And after that, you're just going to add N, okay? So that's the Japanese currency, right? N. So, N. So, uh, something interesting for you guys to know as well is like in Japanese uh, school, elementary school, this is how we learn the numbers. Uh, I'll try to explain here. I don't know if, you know, like... Uh, you guys will be able to to get um, but basically is in Japan uh, we do by columns right or digits so uh, the, the the far one on the right as you can see is Ichi no Kurai so Ichi no Kurai means that is the column of one 
one unit, one digit, right? So, for example, if I have go only, number five, that's read as go, right? The second one uh, after the, the column of one digit is ju no kurai, which is a, a one zero, right? Ju, but mean, means that it has two digits, right? So, but it's the second one. So, what, in other words, if you have two digits, the first digit is still like, you know, zero or you know, uh, up to nine, right? And then once it gets to two digits, that number goes into the ju no kurai. So for example, 35 is sanju go. And why am I explaining this? Because then it's easier because you know that it's just for you to put the number, you know, san, number three, in front of ju, and then you add the ichi no kurai. So sanju go is 35. Next one is hyaku, right? So the, the, the column of the hundred. So if you have two hyaku, so then it's two ne, ni hyaku sanju go. Ni hyaku sanju go. And then if you have next one in the column of the thousand, sen no kurai, if you have seven, so then it's seven thousand, right? So nana sen, seven thousand, uh, two hundred, so ni hyaku uh, sanju go. Uh, Sanju go so thirty five. All right, nana thousand. Uh, nana thousand. Nana sen nihaku sanju go. This net. And the last one is the man no kurai. I mean, there are higher numbers than that, but I'm gonna limit to man here because usually that's uh, how we go. Okay, with the ichiman uh, dollar bill. A uh, uh, hundred dollar. Well, it used to be a hundred dollar. Uh, equivalent to Ichiman, but now the yen is actually cheaper, so it is a good time to go to Japan, guys. Um, anyway, so if we have eight, uh, 80,000, right, that would be Hachi Mung. So you see, in English, it gets tricky here because 80,000, you kind of want to say, you know, 80,000, but then 80, you have to think in your mind that 80 is actually eight, uh, 10,000, right? Um, no, sorry, eight, uh, yeah, eight, ten thousand. See, even me, I get confused. <laughs> so, anyway, eight, ten thousand plus seven thousand plus two hundred plus uh, thirty plus uh, five. So, that would be in Japanese, Hachiman Nanasen Nihaku Senjugo. All right? Oof. All right, guys. Um, and I'm going to take this away as well. I've been repeating that a lot. So now is uh, the money. I made this for you guys to familiarize yourselves uh, with the Japanese money. Okay. By the way, they just changed the, the bills uh, into a different design. So uh, uh, you actually will be able to see different designs when you go to Japan, but they're pretty much similar. The main colors are kind of the same. Uh, the 10,000 um, um, bill is a little bit bigger. All right. But anyway, this is the money that you will see in Japan. So each yen is a, a, a small coin, right? And then goen, juen, and then you got the go juen for 50, and then you got hyakuen, which is, uh, uh, you know, um, you will have a lot. And then f uh, 500 uh, yen is go hyakuen. And then we got the bills, which is 1,000, right? Sen, sen yen, sen yen. Sen and then we got the go sen and then we got the ichiman yen. All right, and this is a actually ni sen yen uh, bill satsu, right? So it's very rare. So I just added here because in case you guys find this in Japan, I think it's a keeper. Okay, it could be a nice souvenir to bring it back home. All right, so let's move to the second part of our lesson, uh, which is the grammar, all right? So remember last lesson we learned kore for something that is closer to the speaker, sore for something that is closer to the listener, and are for something that is far away from both the speaker and the listener. So following that um, kind of, you know, rule, uh, today we're going to learn uh, our first grammar point is going to be koko, which means here, okay? So now we're talking about place. But as you can see, the hiragana, the first hiragana, stays the same. So kore, koko, right? So now you can guess that uh, the place that is closer to the listener will be 
soko, right? Soko. And the place that is both far away from the listener and the speaker is a soko, a soko. All right, so koko, soko, asoko. All right. So, for example, let's say that we are talking about the restroom, and the restroom in this place is closer to the speaker. So we're going to be using koko. All right. And the sentence would be something like toire wa koko des, toire wa koko des. Now, if the bathroom or the restroom is closer to the listener, right? We would be using soko, soko, and the sentence then would be toire wa soko des, toire wa soko des. Now, if the speaker and the listener are together, let's say, and the restrooms are far away from both of them, in that case, we will be using asoko, asoko, and the sentence would be toire wa asoko des. Toire wa asoko des. Toire wa asoko des. All right. Now there, uh, there are the the politer version of koko soko and asoko. So that's gonna be our grammar point two. So the politer version of um, koko is kochira, kochira. The politer version for soko is Sochira, sochira. And the politer version of asoko is achira, achira. All right? But the meaning is exactly the same, it's just politer. So here we go again. So if the restroom is closer to the speaker, we're going to use kochira. And the sentence would be toire wa kochira desu. Toire wa kochira desu. If the restrooms are closer to the listener, we would be using sochira for a politer version, and the sentence would be toire wa sochira desu. Toire wa sochira desu. Now, if the, the, the restrooms are far away from, for, uh, from both of them, right, the speaker and the listener, uh, we would be using achira for a politer version. So the sentence would be toire wa Achira desu. Toire wa achira desu. Now, for our grammar uh, point three, we also gonna be using kochira, okay? And kochira is also used when we introduce someone. So we are referring to someone, a person, right? So if you look here, I have the speaker and I have a uh, a Tanaka-san standing right next to the speaker, and the speaker is introducing Tanaka-san to the listener, right? So they would say, Kochira wa Tanaka-san desu. Kochira wa Tanaka-san desu. As you know, showing Tanaka-san or pointing at Tanaka-san, right? Kochira wa Tanaka-san desu. Okay? So now, grammar point three is uh, something that we did already in our lesson number one, I believe, is circle wa nani nani desu, right? but uh, we will be using kochira desu, right? Because that's what we learn, or koko desu. So basically, is you guys can change uh, the circle to any, um, uh, you know, area of the house, of the building, and you can say kochira desu, sochira desu, achira desu, right? For example, the bathroom is here, right? Uh, the restroom. Um, so for example, where is the office? Office wa? Yonkai desu. So here's where we use the, the floors, right? So office wa yonkai desu. Office wa yonkai desu. How about when you are asking for somebody, where is, uh, you know, Mr. Tanaka or Miss Tanaka? Tanaka-san wa jibun no heya desu. Tanaka-san wa jibun no heya desu. So she's in her own room. She's in her own Apartment, right? Tanaka-san wa jibun no heya desu. All right, so grammar point four, we will be learning doko, which means where, or the politer version, which also means where, okay? So you can use doko or dochira. So again, we can use the circle for, uh, you know, to ask, and you will be followed by wa, 
どこですか meaning that where is the OK? 何々はどこですか For example, in this sentence we want to ask where is the elevator? So, エレベーターはどこですかエレベーターはどこですか Or,、um, when we answer the person B would say the elevator is over there. So, エレベーターはあそこです。エレベーターはあそこです。So next one. おこみはどちらですか So this is kind of interesting because when you translate it, it's like what? But、uh, おこに means country, right? Well, country. こに means country. In our last lesson, we learned how adding the hiragana o in front of a word makes it politer, right? So in this case,、uh, we, because、um, by asking,、um, you know, if you do the literal, literal translation, would be where is The country, you know, where is the country? But this t r a n s l a t e as where are you from, right? Which country did you come from? So that's the idea of o k o n i w a dochira desu ka? o k o n i w a dochira desu ka? So you could say, k o n i w a doko or k o n i w a doko desu ka? But again, because it's kind of a very personal question, we want to make it politer. So therefore, o k o n i and dochira instead of doko desu ka? Right? But you can say, Oko ni wa doko desu ka? That's fine. Okay.、Uh, but I would say, Oko ni wa dochira desu ka? Just to be you know, polite and nice. And the answer in this case could be, for example, Igirisu kara kimashita. I came from England, right? Meaning, I'm British, right?、Uh, Igirisu kara kimashita. Oko ni wa dochira desu ka? Igirisu kara kimashita. Now, next one is, Gakko wa. どこですか学校はどこですか So, this is kind of similar. Like, if you translate it, it's like, where is the school? Is the literal meaning, right? But again, in Japanese, by asking this, we are actually asking, where did you go to school? Or which school did you come from, right? So, the school that you attended, where is it? So, that's kind of the logic behind. Okay, so, 学校はどこですか Or again, you could say, どちらですか And the answer, for example, could be Kyoto,、uh, sorry, Tokyo Daigaku, right? Or Todai d e s So you just say the name of the university, this, okay?、Uh, by the way, Tokyo Daigaku is the most famous university in Japan, and the second most famous is Kyoto Daigaku, right? And the shorter version of Tokyo Daigaku, as you can see here, is Todai. And the shorter version of Kyoto Daigaku is Kyodai. All right, so when you say, Gakko wa dochira desu ka? If they answer, Todai desu or Kyodai desu, you can go like, Wow, sugoi. Sugoi means like, Wow, okay? All right, so next one is, you finally found the wine section, so you are like asking about a certain pot of wine, right? Kore wa doko no wine desu ka? Kore wa doko no wine desu ka? ワインですかこれはどこのワインですか And the teller will say, こちらはフランスのワインです。こちらはフランスのワインです。こちらはフランスのワインです。Right? Now, also,、um, we can use this どこ、uh, to ask about A certain brand, right? What is the brand of a product? So, for example, これはどこのスマホですかこれはどこのスマホですか So, if you translate literally, it kind of you know, goes like,、uh, where is this、um, uh, phone, cell phone, right?、Um, but remember, we're, we're, the, the idea behind it is like, where is the factory? The manufacturer of this product, of this phone, right? So, これはどこのスマホですか Equal, you know, what's the brand? And then you would say, for example, こちらはアップルのスマホです。こちらはアップルのスマホです。An iPhone. All right? So, we are in the last part of our lesson, which is a practice round, right? The, the practice round. So let's go for a longer conversation. So the first one here is 
we went to a store, the person greets us as Irashaimase, right? Welcome. And then we are thirsty for a beer. So we say, Kono biru wa ikura desu ka? Kono biru wa ikura desu ka? And they say, Sochira wa 495 desu. Sochira wa 495 desu. Okay? So um, the hiragana says Sochira, okay? Because they are far away. So, Kochira, Sochira. Now, um, then you say, Ja. Oh, in that case, I'll take two. Ja, futatsu kudasai. Ja, futatsu kudasai. Okay? So that was 450 in this. Ne? So we could have a bottle of wine, for example, right? So instead of kono biru, we would say, Kono wine wa ikura desu ka? Right? Or if we want to buy something more expensive about shoes, right? Uh, this one would be kono kutsu, right? Kono kutsu wa ikura desu ka? The, the answer would be uh, niman sanzen hyakuen desu, all right? Now, next one is person A says, you are, imagine you are in a department store and you're looking to get some wine, okay? Um, and then you say, Ano sumimasen? Wine yuriba wa doko desu ka? So, excuse me, uh, where is the wine yuriba? So, uriba means like the area where something is, you know, sold uh, and wine is, is wine, right? So, where is the wine section, okay? Uh, and then the person would say, Wine yuriba, wine yuriba wa chika ni kai desu, right? So, it's on underground second floor. Wan yuriba wa chika ni kai desu. And then you ask, okay, so where am I? So, koko wa nangai desu ka? Koko wa nangai desu ka? And you also add, Erebeta wa doko desu ka? Where is the elevator? Erebeta wa doko desu ka? And then the person answers, koko wa, or in a shorter version, natural version, ni kai desu. You are on the second floor. Erebeta wa achira desu yo. Elevator wa achira desu yo. Okay. Ano sumimasen? Wine yuriba wa doko desu ka? Wine yuriba wa chika ni kai desu. Koko wa nangai desu ka? Elevator wa doko desu ka? Ni kai desu. Elevator wa achira desu yo. Okay. Now, next conversation. Sumimasen. Kore wa doko no wine desu ka? So we found the, the wine section, you, you grab a bottle of wine and you're asking now, where is this wine from? Kore wa doko no wine desu ka? Sochira wa furansu no wine desu. Sochira wa furansu no wine desu. Ikura desu ka? How much is it? Ikura desu ka? By the way, the wine is from France. So, Chirawa, that wine is from France, okay? Ikura desu ka? How much is it? And then they say, Sono wine wa 2,500 yen desu. Sono wine wa 2,500 yen desu. All right, guys. So, this was a long lesson. Otsukare sama deshita. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I hope to see you next time. Sore dewa, mata. Bye-bye.